So this is the secret to how to get your Dyson Airwrap curls to last. Otherwise your curls are just going to fall out in like two hours. The secret is literally... Hello, welcome back to my channel. I look a little bit crazy right now. But today I am going to be talking all about the Dyson Airwrap. I have done an insane amount of TikToks on it. So if you want to check out my TikToks all about the Dyson Airwrap, then go to my TikTok page. But today I thought I would show you how I do my curls using the air wrap as I get an insane amount of questions, mostly over on my TikTok. Um, but also I have had the struggle where they literally last for like two hours and you wonder why everyone loves this machine because the curls never last. And now I've mastered it, I figured out how to get it to work, how to get the curls to last a really long time. So I thought I would show you how I do my hair, but also give you some tips and tricks along the way. So if you enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to check out more of my videos and let's get on with it. So the first thing I like to do is of course brush my hair because duh. If you uh, didn't know already, I do actually have extensions my hair is not naturally this long the amount of comments i've seen under like my air wrap tutorials um on tiktok of people saying like my hair could never look like this guys my hair could never look like this either my natural hair is like here i have extensions my natural hair could never also so now i'm just sectioning my hair um because i have extensions I just like to make sure that my hair actually gets properly dry. So we're working with the bottom part of my hair right now. So my first tip is to actually dry your hair basically completely. But I've seen a lot of people say that your hair needs to be damp and like 60 to 70% dry. I've tried that. Does not work for me. The curls fall out within an hour or two. I like to dry my hair to about 90% dry. It's almost like it doesn't even look wet anymore. Different things work for different people, but I definitely think this makes my hair last, well, the curls last a lot longer. Then I also, on the days that I haven't washed my hair, will just take a spray bottle and spray my hair a little bit so that I am able to curl it because you can't use the air wrap when your hair is completely dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dry my hair 90% with this and then i'm also going to use one of the other brushes to dry my hair so i'm going to show you that when i get to it it's not actually that hot i think that's why it never lasts the curls on people unless they do things to prolong them does that make sense i hope you can hear me <laughs> so i like to do it one side at a time so i will come to this after i've done the curls and then same for the top so i've dried my hair for about two or three minutes it's still very very wet so i am going to change the hairdryer attachment to the silver paddle brush i don't really feel like there's a lot of a difference between the pink one with the little pink tips and this one um it's just the one i've just reached for i guess so i find the the curls last a bit better when your hair is really nice and sleek my hair doesn't really go frizzy it's naturally pinned straight um but just the sleeker the better so i then go in with this and then dry it until it is 90 percent dry so this is the secret to how to get your dyson air wrap curls to last this is the ultimate tip i swear by it now i will not not do it otherwise your curls are just going to fall out in like two hours i've been there trust me i know it's annoying the secret is literally 99p shop bobby pins so i saw a tiktok about it a while ago and i thought i'm gonna give it a go this is my last resort before this thing is returned because it was really frustrating me and i've never had one so many compliments on my hair before and two the curls have never lasted so long so Here's what you do. I personally don't really like tight curls. I like them to look quite loose, wavy. I don't really like the ringlet ones on me personally, but that is also secret number two. The way to get your curls to last is to use the insanely tight barrels and brush them out. I have the long barrels and as much as they look initially how I would like the curls to look, 
they drop out so fast get the really small curlers and use those my hair as you can tell is pretty long and i thought my hair is never gonna you know wrap around this because it's 90 percent dry it doesn't really matter as long as you get the ends it's all good take a section of hair try and go for smaller sections um i know it's a little bit more time consuming it just again means that they will last longer so first step is to use the air wrap as you would normally to curl your hair i then like to twist it up as well i know that defeats the point but it's just easier try and leave it on for as long as you can i know it is um time consuming but that means again that they'll last longer how many times am i going to say the word last longer in this video though <laughs> then make sure to flick it up to the cold setting so that it gets a burst of cold air which actually isn't really that cold but you know okay now your curl is ready it's done most people would just normally let it out and that's it but here is the trick so you get your bobby pin so you might be able to see on the curler here there are lines take your bobby pin open it up and put it against the line and literally just slide it on and then your hair is gonna kind of go into um like a bit of a pin style and then let it out and your curl is kind of all pinned together like that and you just let it drop i feel like i'm not explaining things very well today but once you've got it like this just throw it to the back of your head do that all over leave it in for a little bit or if you need to take it straight out if you haven't got time that's fine as well um because the cool setting it doesn't actually blast out that cold air so i feel like this is the correct way to set it um unless you leave it on the cold setting for a long time but no one has time for that the tips don't stop there so Keep watching because there's going to be more tips to how to make it last a little bit longer. So now I'm going to go and dry this side, curl it, do it all over my head and then I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so officially I look crazy. I try not to get the wet hair on top of obviously the dry ones just because I feel like it probably makes the curls drop out but i will literally do the exact same thing so i'm gonna try and show you as close up as i can the barrel's a little bit hot right now all of it's done so i'm gonna leave it for about half an hour and then come back and show you what i do next i love this part even though my hair looks so crazy so the next step is one of my favourite parts about it and that is going back in with this paddle brush and using a bit of heat to brush them out. I just feel like for some reason it looks so nice when you do this versus just brushing it out with a normal comb. So that is it for my tutorial and my little tips on how to make your Dyson air wrap curls last that little bit longer. So if you give this a go, please let me know in the comments down below how it goes, if they last any longer or if you just really like the results. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please give the video a thumbs up and I will hopefully see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe as well.